Hello and welcome to the Admin Bar, the community that helps you streamline your processes, sharpen your skills, and demand higher paying projects. My name is Kyle Van Dusen from Ogle Web Design just outside of Fort Worth, Texas. And today I am talking to my good buddy and co-host Matt Siebert about a problem I have. Hello, Hello. Matt. How's it going? It is going pretty good, but I had a client uh, throw me for a loop this morning. And sometimes when this happens, I get just extremely frustrated. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. And I think some other people here might be able to uh, maybe either help me out or just gain a little uh, self self awareness and insight to how they want to do things. Because I think I, I think I found a solution, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I got there. All right, cool. Run it past me. Okay, so I uh, I've talked about this before on the show. I do not send out like care plan reports every month. Uh, for one, I think for most of my clients, it would be junk. Uh, they wouldn't understand what any of it is. Uh, it's more work for me to go into. It just basically gives them a log of like, I press the update button. Uh, I should be doing that anyway. So like, why do they need proof that I'm doing that? That makes me feel kind of awkward that they even like would need that. Um, and I've just never found it necessary. I'm kind of afraid too. Uh, if I start sending emails that basically contain junk, because I'm calling a website care plan update email junk mail, um, if I start sending junk every month, are they going to start thinking everything I send is junk? So do you follow me on this? No, I get it. And, you know, I can see both sides of things here. Um, I definitely see yours because I'm in that boat. Like, that's that's how I I do things as well. Like, I mean, they know the tasks that I do. I use... I use the website owner's manual to, uh, to illustrate all of the things that I do. And if they want to report, you know, I do have a, uh, a, a fairly high paying uh, retainer uh, for a couple of my clients that, yeah, I'll do it. But, you know, it's, it's more analytics. It's, it's a lot yeah. less, you know, That's what actual the report, updates. The report you're sending them isn't a maintenance report. It's a, <clears throat> it's a marketing report. I think there's right. a difference. Yeah, there's, there's there. a difference there for sure. Yeah, you're right. So, no, no, I don't, I don't do it. I can, see, I can see the client's side of it potentially, especially if it's a group of people making a decision, which I think it is on this yeah. one. So that's basically the deal. This client's site went under attack yesterday, um, just getting a shit ton of traffic trying to hack into the site. And anyways, I got it mitigated. It's taken care of. But I've learned my lesson in I, I want to tell the client that something like that is going on so they can be aware of it and aware that I'm taking care of it. Because if something does go wrong, I don't want the catastrophe to be the thing out of the blue. At least they've had some kind of warning. Plus it's like reassurance. Hey, something's going on and I'm taking care of it. Right. I mean, uh, that so like, I, in all honesty, that's a report in itself. It's not like a scheduled report, but right. if something's going on, you're going to let them know and you're going to let them know that you're handling it. You know, that, that to me is better than a, like you said, junk mail, man. Like, why would somebody want all of these these logs and they're going to skim it and not look at it and probably just trash it? Like, it's useless. Right. Okay, so th this client basically wrote me back and said, thank you, I really appreciate that. Uh, by the way, it might be really helpful if you just sent me a report every month of everything you're doing so I could take it to the board and they would understand what we're paying you for. I'm like, son of a bitch, you know, this is almost three years now of offering care plans and I've never had a client request it. Like I've thought many times about offering it, but I've never had somebody request it. And now he's requested it. So I, I got frustrated by this. I see his point, but it's not something I want to do. So I've kind of wrote a, an open letter to my clients and probably prospective clients because I think I'm just going to publish this on my site uh, titled Why I Don't Do Monthly maintenance reports. And I'm wondering if you want to, uh, I'm going to, I guess, just read this intro to it. It's a rather long intro, but I think, uh, I think this is, this sums up my thoughts really well. So are you down with me? Just uh, story time with Kyle. I read this to you. Uh, yeah, go for it. All right. I mean, <laughs> what else are we doing? Right. I feel um, like it's going to be kind of funny in a little way. Yeah. So, uh, well, th this, these are my thoughts. I think it's summed up. So, uh, I, my care plan, I call it my continued success program. So if I say that in here, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I've wrote, uh, the entire purpose of the continued success program is to give you everything you need to, or everything you need to have, maintain and grow a successful website without the hassle or headache of doing it yourself. Just like you likely don't want to change the oil in your car yourself, you probably don't want to bother with the routine maintenance of a website either. But just like your car, your website will deteriorate quickly if you do not upkeep it properly. Okay, so I'm kind of setting the stage here, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I go on to say, uh, while you might not want to perform or even fully understand all the tasks required to keep upkeep your web, or excuse me, uh, while you might not want to perform or fully understand all the tasks required to keep your website online and healthy, it's important you at least know what I'll be doing for you. Uh, I'm going to throw a dig out here to everybody who does reports, but you know, it's just my feelings. Okay. So, um, it's common for website developers to send out monthly reports with all the tasks performed on your site each month. But I'm gonna be honest, those reports are boring and unlikely to tell you much of anything. Typically, they're a long list or log of all the software updates, security scans, backup, completions, and server monitoring of your site. Most website owners take one good look at that and realize quickly that it means absolutely nothing to them. In order for me to prepare these unusable reports for you, I'd have to take away time I could otherwise be productive and do mindless administrative tasks. Besides, Providing a good report or, and doing a good job are two different things. Often I'd be doing you a disservice by trying to do things for a grade and not for the goal. So I don't do reports. Our relationship is 100% built on trust. You've hired me to build and take care of your website. That's exactly what I intend to do. If you need to, me to provide you with a list, we're probably not a great fit to work together and I'll gladly recommend you to some folks who can provide you reports and do a great job too. Instead, my services are performed on a month-to-month -month basis. You're not locked into me, and I don't want you to be. I'm confident and certain that I will do such a great job caring for your website and that you'll have so few, if any, issues that paying for it each month will be a no-brainer for you. If you come to find you don't feel that way, we can make arrangements for you to get set up with someone else or do it yourself. No hard feelings. Below is a list of the things I'll be looking after on your website. Some months, items on this list might not require my attention at all. Some days I'll work until 11 at night, over the weekend, or even on vacation, to my family's dismay, to ensure everything is working properly for you. Instead of nickel and diming you for each and every little thing, it's all covered by one flat monthly rate. I've yeah, created... No. Go ahead. Oh, I thought you were done. I thought there one was more no paragraph more. and I'm done. One more paragraph. It's, it's All right, epic. you were right. This is, uh, this is a little long. Yeah. I've created <laughs> and often add things to this list through the years of experience of the upkeep of my own and, cl and countless clients' websites. These are the things I know it will take to ensure your website and online presence is working for you in an effort to grow your business. And then I go on to list all the things I do every month, which is a list of about a bazillion things. But I feel so much better like getting this off my chest. This is I'm going to edit this a little bit to make it personal to the person I'm talking to, but basically just tell them like, nah, I'm not going to send you monthly reports. Uh, if that's, if that's what you need, cool. I'll help you get set up with like Jeffrey at maintain press and he'll send you monthly reports until you're blue in the face, but that's not the business I do. Yeah, no. And I think that like, I mean, our listeners and, and watchers and all that stuff, they're probably going to have, this is going to be hotly contested or at least like, I, I have a feeling there might be a lot of comments, uh, under, under this post, but you know, I think that, uh, I think it's a, it's a pacifier, you know, like why, why are you sending it? It's proof. Like that's all it is. So the way that you phrased it and that like, it's all, it's all revolving around, you know, trust, Ultimately, that's that's what your clients have in you, and and without that, you're a button pusher. They're not going to be coming to you as like you know if if they need proof and they don't trust you, then why are they going to ask you you know to further their website more or like why would they come to you with a different business problem that you may be able to solve? Like I mean, I I have my clients coming to me for things that don't pertain to the web at all. You know, it's just like hey, we're struggling with this type of a thing like do you have any insight you know and that's that's the trust in the relationship that's built there and i don't send any single one of them a, uh, a maintenance report like they that's just the know thing. that their site's taken care of that's the thing there's ten thousand people that could do website maintenance for them i'm like one of a bazillion there's a, a bunch cheaper than me and a bunch more expensive than me and they could go out and find any joe on the street to do it but the reason they hire me is they either trust me or don't trust me. You know what I mean? So if, if you need a report for proof that I'm doing my job, then this probably isn't the way I like to work. I like to work in the fact that, you know, if I need to go the extra mile because something was going wrong with your site last night and I had to work late to make sure that it was taken care of, I do that. And if next month nothing's going wrong and I don't have to spend a bunch of time on your site, then I'm not going to. But as long as your site's taken care of, then we're cool. You know, I'm going to make sure that, that that's the ultimate goal. Your site needs to be taken care of. If my goal is to make sure your report looks good every month, 
then I feel like I don't, my goals aren't aligned the same. It's so. like wasted time. And, and, you know, for like the ones that do need proof and more often than not, I'm just guessing it's probably going to be the, those, you know, those businesses or uh, nonprofits or whoever it might be that's run by committee, you know, and just the way the committees work and the way that uh, like that discussion goes on, like, you know, that first report they get that might have a, a bunch of stuff like updates and, and, you know, security things and all of that stuff. They'll see that and they'll be like, wow, okay. So he is doing a lot. But the, the, the flip side of that coin is like, what if, you know, two months go by in a row where not much is happening. It's just mundane updates and, and that's it then their ideals are going to start swapping to, well, he's not doing that much, which is not the case because you have to look at it as, as like a, you know, quarterly or a yearly thing because things happen at random. Yeah. And like this client site yesterday, he had problems that I had to fix for the weeks prior to that, maybe the last few months, there's been no problems and I didn't have to spend a lot of time on his site. But when there was a problem, like I stopped what I was doing, I worked late, I fixed the problem. Right, that's exactly. the care plan. Yeah, that's what you're buying. So, anyways, yes, like you said, it's it might be this might be unpopular. So, uh, <laughs> get at me in the comments, and uh, uh, and we better get out of here. All right, all right. Uh, take care. Bye.